Good afternoon. After a national search that included highly qualified internal and external candidates, the Board of Education for the Sioux Falls School District is excited to announce that our new superintendent is Dr. Jane Staven. Dr. Staven fits the desired characteristics and leadership profile that was created by HYA and associates through extensive community and staff input. In her 31 years in education, she has served as a music teacher, director of curriculum and instruction, assistant superintendent, and superintendent. Her knowledge of curriculum and assessment will be a great strength as we continue to strive to meet the goals within our strategic plan. Married with two adult children, Dr. Stavum looks forward to becoming part of the Sioux Falls community. Dr. Stavum, who grew up on a farm in Nebraska, has worked in a variety of states, mostly Minnesota and Nebraska, with both large and small school districts, and will bring a unique perspective with her to Sioux Falls. We are excited to welcome Dr. Stavum and her family to our community, effective July 1st, 2020. This announcement is contingent upon successful background check and contract negotiations. Thank you. I will stand by for any questions. The spelling of her name? S-T-A-V-E-M, Jane, J-A-N-E. What made her stand out? Her, um, I talked about her curriculum. It's her ability to diagnose problems. Um, she looked at some of our testing and looked at our strategic plan as it was very able to articulate to us as a board what she thought we could use to go forward with that. It looks like she came from the Lake Washington School that, District? That is correct. Um, so uh, Washington it is a district of uh, over 30,000 students, so larger than Sioux Falls. Um, she's also uh, served in the Lincoln School District. Before that was her most recent. She's been in the St. Paul area, Columbus, Nebraska as well. What about her skill set, you think? sets her apart to tackle upcoming challenges such as redistricting. You bet. She just actually, uh, it, where she is in Lake Washington, they did a reboundary uh, very recently. So her ability to navigate that and deal with emotional issues as well and tailed with that was um, very, caught all of us, I think, um, it brought, brought interest to us because we believe that we'll need that going forward as well. I'd love to open it to others, too, if they want to answer. I'm not trying to hog at all. The, obviously, this is a board decision, not mine. And yeah. um, it, 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 We had a great experience doing this. We had great candidates, so it made our job a lot easier to make this decision. How many candidates were there? You mentioned this with a national search. You bet. Um, uh, I, the total candidates, I'm not able to reveal, but um, we narrowed it down twice. So when we... we when we got it down to our, um, I would say, first level, it was five, and then our finalists were two. How difficult was it to navigate or to decide between the, uh, kind of that final five? It, it, um, it, it's very difficult because every person brings such different skill sets. What really made it uh, help us hone in on what our decision was, was looking at our characteristics, the desired characteristics we developed, as well as what our strategic plan is and making sure that was the best solution for this. I have great colleagues that I work with on the school board and so we're just really encouraged by where we're going to be going in the future and our new superintendent that is coming up her skill set um, and that alignment that it will take us into the future and it's just a lot of really strong positive um, pieces to look forward to in the future was the decision to uh, select her unanimous by the board it was you know, we haven't had the final vote yet, okay. this, um, so we, we will at our board meetings. So, th thank you. You can just hold that too. Okay. Once that contract is negotiated and finalized, we'll have that official vote, but to make the author and so forth, that was unanimous. So.
you have an estimated timeline for how long that? Um, hopefully, we'd like to do as quickly as possible. Obviously, there was a meeting of the minds before we made this announcement. So, um, background check takes seven days. The, pa the paperwork business days that's already started, and um, we have already started a first draft on that the contract. So. And you mentioned that she previously worked in Nebraska. Did I hear St. Paul too? That yes, that's correct. The St. Paul area. Yeah. Right now, she's the superintendent at Lake Washington School District. That is correct. Yeah. So Dr. Maher's last day as superintendent of the, of the Sioux Falls School District will be June 30th? Huh? That is correct. And the Lake Washington School District is that in the center rest of the district? No, that, no, it's outside Seattle. It's actually three communities. Um, and basically, Microsoft headquarters is right in that's the area it serves. She has a unique role there where she has three separate communities that she's working with. So she talked about how she had to go to three different city council meetings and she has three different mayors. And so we're thinking about working with our um, elected officials here in South Dakota. I think she also brings a great um, experience in that as well and kind of having to navigate um, different communities and um, in that area. So another skill set that really stuck out to us. In the transition from Maher to Statham, do you think parents and staff and educators and students will notice much of a difference or not really? as you transition from one superintendent um, to the other? I think they have a lot of similarities. I think they ha they both um, are very strong in their communication and relationship building. And so that's definitely one of Dr. Maher's strengths. And so as we transition from um, Dr. Maher to Dr. Stavum, I think that will be a, a continuous theme that you will see, um, which I think is something that everybody's really appreciated, is that open and honest uh, communication. I think she um, has a different background as far as instruction and the curriculum. And so there, will, I think the staff maybe and, and maybe the trickle down to families will notice maybe a different focus on some of those items um, just that that's just her background and that's her knowledge and so she's very well versed in the math scores and some of the, the other assessments that we use and so um, we're hoping that we can look at those through a different lens and and gather some additional information that will help as uh, Cynthia said in the diagnosing um, and assessment of those skills um, to help our earliest learners all the way up into our, our, our high school as well. What do you think about within the transition of betting on Ben Michael Middle School and then uh, Jefferson? How encouraged were y'all to have her to kind of help lead this new transition? You know, um, similar to how she just went through a reboundering process um, before she got to Lake Washington, she's also, I can't remember the numbers, but numerous buildings have been built during her time there as well. And so she's very familiar also with bringing on new buildings and, and how that process works, um, which was another strength that we um, identified through our interviewing process too. She said she has her own hard hat. That's how often <laughs> she's been out on construction sites lately. Yeah. You mentioned she currently um, helps oversee three different communities. Um, do those communities reflect a similar diversity to what Sioux Falls is facing now? And how, how maybe during the interview process did she talk about her her take on diversity and its growth here in Sioux Falls. Sure, she talked about that quite a bit. In fact, um, Lake Washington does not have the same level of diversity that we see here in um, Sioux Falls, but her experience in Lincoln as well as St. Paul, she's certainly very familiar with um, uh, low socioeconomic factors as well as racial diversity. So that was another thing that just stirred her above everybody else. I think that's more of her comfortable. I think that's what she's probably going to be is the diversity that we, we have here. So I'm excited to see what she brings. Similar to Sioux Falls, the um, Lincoln uh, community is a LSS uh, resettlement community. So very similar in that sense as well as the socioeconomic in fact she says that she um, wants to come back into a school district with more of that because she thrives in that type of area has she ever explained uh, what 
I guess, capacity of the budget that she's handled in the past and how's that related to you? Much larger than her. For example, when she was curriculum director at Lincoln, their curriculum budget alone is $450 million. Our school budget is $350 million total. So in Lake Washington, it's much larger as well. Um, so it, the numbers won't scare her. <laughs> She, she'll have some learning curve, of course, about South Dakota's education funding and so forth, but through interviews, um, it, it's quite apparent she's already started researching all that and knowing about that. So. During the interview process, was this an in-person interview, or yes. how, how did that take place? Two in-person interviews. And what was her reaction to coming to Sioux Falls, her first reaction? They loved it. I loved Nan and Todd's input because they, they spent a little bit more time kind of touring around with her. Uh, because she's from the Midwest, right off the bat, she said, this feels like home. And she did a lot of comparison between Sioux Falls and Lincoln. Um, and her husband is, is, as well as from the area, um, he is an organist. Um, he currently um, plays the organ up in Minneapolis, so he gets back to the Midwest quite often. They have two grown children that are also in the Midwest. Uh, her parents are, are here as well. And really um, what stuck out is she has that Midwest warm-hearted, you know, friendly um, disposition, but, and also when I say warm-hearted, an open heart to all, all people in different cultures and, and different socioeconomic backgrounds and she just, she's going to fit right in and, and she could sense that as well. Good. Oh. Does she have a doctorate in education then? She does have a doctorate and I believe it's in education. <laughs> what other questions? Anything what else, else you guys want to add at all? Thank you for um, the integrity of the process and um, allowing this to unfold how it has so that um, we could have the best possible pool, pool of candidates to interview um, by uh, keeping it um, confidential we were able to have candidates who might have had the fear of some retribution within their district or um, their boards uh, if they applied and did not get the job. And so um, this allowed us to have the best pool for us to interview and then to pick the best candidate. 